Long ago, an emperor sought a philosophy of life. He needed wisdom to guide his rule and govern himself. The religions and philosophies of the time did not satisfy him. So he searched for his philosophy in the experience of life. Eventually, he realized that he required the answers to only three fundamental questions. With those answers, he would have all the wise guidance he needed. The three questions were 1. When is the most important time? 2. Who is the most important person? 3. What is the most important thing to do? We all know the answer to the first question, but we forget it too often. The most important time is now of course. That is the only time we ever have. So if you want to tell your mom or dad how much you really love them, how grateful you are for them being your parents, do so now. Not tomorrow. Not in five minutes. Now. In five minutes it is often too late. If you need to say sorry to your partner, don't start thinking of all the reasons why you shouldn't. Just do it right now. The opportunity may never come again. Grab the moment. The answer to the second question is powerfully profound. Few people ever guess the correct answer. The answer is that the most important person is the one you are with. Communication and love can only be shared when the one you are with, no matter who they are, is the most important person in the world for you, at that time. They feel it. They know it. They respond. Married couples often complain that their partner doesn't really listen to them. What they mean is that their partner doesn't make them feel important anymore. Divorce lawyers would have to look for other work if every person in a relationship remembered the answer to the emperor's second question and put it into practice. So that no matter how tired or busy we are, when we are with our partner, we make them feel as though they are the most important person in the world. In business, where the person we are with is a potential customer, if we treat them as the most important person for us at that time, our sales will go up and with it our salary. The emperor in the original story escaped assassination by fully listening to the advice of a small boy on his way to visit the hermit. When a powerful emperor is with a mere child, that boy is the most important person in the world for him, and saves the emperor's life. When friends come up to me after a long day to tell me about their problems, I remember the answer to the emperor's second question and give them total importance. It is selflessness. Compassion supplies the energy, and it works. Most of the time in your life you are by yourself. Then, the most important person, the one you are with, is you. There is plenty of time to give importance to yourself. Who is the first person you are aware of when you wake up in the morning? You. Do you ever say, good morning, me? Have a nice day. I do. Who is the last person you are aware of when you go to sleep? Yourself again. I say good night to myself. I give myself importance in the many private moments of my day. It works. The answer to the emperor's third question, what is the most important thing to do, is to care. To care brings together being careful and caring. The answer illustrates that it is where we are coming from that is the most important thing. Before describing what it means to care, using several stories, I will summarize the three questions of the emperor, together with the answers. 1. When is the most important time? Now. 2. Who is the important person? The person you are with. 3. What is the most important thing to do? To care, 